All right, welcome back. Here we are, Fishing Planet, uh, bottom slash feeder fishing guide or let's play series, whatever. Um, we're now at the uh, Lesney Villa fishery, the check map, which is level three. So you can go here pretty quick. I haven't fished here a lot, just a little bit um, in the past. And at least what I remember of this, I really like this map. Um, we've got honey with bread on line one and, and size four hook. And then we've got bread worms here, sorry, red worms here that we're going to do. I did go ahead and purchase a second feeder. Uh, as I was thinking about this map, I feel like it's such, um, a good feeder map, an early level feeder map that I really just couldn't imagine not having to. I'm trying to be disciplined and keep this as a free to play series. But if you're into uh, purchasing a DLC and you want to do a lot of this feeder or bottom fishing, getting a DLC that has an, a nice three, two or three rod stand is worth your while. Uh, you just have a lot more action in terms of like constant bites from the feeders. All right, looks like our first fish, it looks like a little Prussian to me. Yeah, trophy Prussian carp, very nice. 108 bucks and um, 52 XP. So already just like better than anything we were catching at, uh, at, Tex at the Texas map. So if you're wanting to do feeder fishing, I think coming here just as soon as you can, even maybe before you get the rod stand, even at level three, if you wanted to, it might be worthwhile. It looks like we've also got a pretty decent fish on red worms here. I know a lot of the fish like the honey with bread. So if anything, I might be rotating the red worms to see what other baits might do stuff here. That's also a tro trophy Prussian. So we've gotten two trophy Prussians in a row from this one marker. on red worms, but let's do some experimenting. Uh, what's the first thing we want to try? Let's try pearl barley and see if this, uh, this spot will produce anything on pearl barley. I think size four, size six hook is kind of what you're looking for here. Um, there are some young common and mirror carps here you could get. And then if you want some of the larger sizes of the other fish, it seems like that's good. Now I don't know about uh, catching the roach. Oh, look at that silver bream. That is cool. And that was on the pearl barley. It wasn't worth anything compared to like that trophy Prussian, but if we could catch a, well, I don't even know that they have trophy silver breams here actually, now that I'm saying that, but that was a quick, pretty quick bite. So I'm interested in the roaches. I think there are trophy sized roaches here. So if we can catch, figure out what to catch those on, that might be cool to see those. I could see maybe needing a little smaller hook for roaches. Um, but maybe when we get them in it, we'll look at their preferred bait as well. So holding a feeder rod like this, we just kind of have to watch the line. And the line will pull. And then after that initial sort of line pull, we'll kind of see a second little grab. And that's when you want to sort of pick it up or uh, start, you know, start reeling it in. Oh, did that fish come off? That stinks. So that one wasn't all the way on yet. We, we pulled that one up a little too quick, I guess.
All right, it's pearl barley fish too. Let's see what we got this time. Seems small again. Hey, there's a common roach. So even a non-trophy is 16 XP and 24 bucks. I mean, that's pretty decent. Will it let me look at the, yeah. So common roach, dough balls, pearl barley. We caught that on pearl barley, right? We don't have maggots yet or anything like that. So we could try, I don't think we have simile. We could try dough balls though. I don't know <clears throat> if that's more likely to get the trophy or not than this pearl barley is. Let's try pearl barley some more. So far we've caught a silver bream and a roach on it. So it's kind of interesting. Mar got a common roach as well. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah, we were gonna try, see if anything would bite cheese here. All right, there we go. This is a much bigger hook, a uh, much bigger fish on pearl barley this time. So we did hear the bells go off while we were holding it, didn't we? I wonder if that's a change or if I'm just remembering wrong. I mean, I'm thinking this might be a young common or mirror cart, possibly. It's really got some strength to it. I don't really want to take a chance of messing this fish up with the other line. That is unreal how close it was to us and we didn't get it. Trophy Prussian carp. Nice, Amar. This is where it will be nice to upgrade our line just a little bit. Another fish is on there. That's crazy. See how our, our, le our line is just not quite strong enough for this. I mean, we'll get it in eventually, I guess, but. Oh, come on. And I think unlike other fishing games, I don't think you ever fully tire out the fish and fishing planet. Like, yeah, it's a young common carp. 
you basically have to be able to you either have the strength or you don't in fishing planet so uh, I mean they certainly tire out for a time and then you can usually like pull them in but is that another roach huh all right there's level seven which I think seven might have been where we can upgrade to a slightly better line and leader I'm not sure but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Let's see um, where we are in terms of how hot the fishing is. Yeah, we're good. It's gonna get cool, cool off though as the day goes on. Might be harder and harder to get bites. Although we're almost halfway to filling our net up. It's only 150 bucks to travel here. So it's kind of nice that <clears throat> these lower level lakes, you know, Texas is free, of course, but this one is 150. So not super punitive in terms of if you do need to go back and buy something or get something different, it's not going to be like several thousand to travel. Wow. All of a sudden, Pearl Barley on a size six hook is doing some work here. Nice silver bream, Amar. Young mirror carp. Very cool. Let's just check and see if there's something on here. Yeah. It sounded like there was. Prussian carp. Prussians are where it's at, man. Even the non-trophy. Worth a good chunk there. Yeah, trophy Prussian, 108 bucks. That's almost the travel cost in one fish. I want to try a different type of bait, a different bait other than pearl barley, but it's honestly been so good. It's, it's it's much better fishing with a feeder rod in your hands than I remembered it. You just don't pull, as long as you don't pull too quick, it's not bad at all. Look how quickly we got that one to the surface. We got it so far in there just on that one. So what I'm trying to do here is not reel against it. And it feels like I'm giving up less line when it's fighting. And then when it, when it kind of wears out for a second, just reel real fast. Seem to be doing a little better that way. Oh, it's three feet, three meat. 
three meters away. Come on. All right, another young common carp. Pretty solid. This might be a trophy Prussian. Kind of seems like to me that the bread with honey maybe catches those trophy Prussians the best. So what we need to find out is like if we can catch trophy common roach pretty successfully, what they're worth money and XP wise. Because if you could kind of focus the trophy Prussians and the trophy roaches since those are the two species that have trophies, at least that we're going for with feeders here. That might be the way to go. That looks like another young mirror carp, actually. Unfortunately. Yep, young mirror carp. I guess let's try dough balls. I'm wondering if something like maggots would really, if the trophy roach like maggots, if that would kind of target them because some of these other species might not go for maggots as much. One thing we haven't caught is tench, which that might be more night bite, I don't know. Oh, Amar, what'd you catch that trophy common roach on? And was it worth it? If you get a second, Amar, what was the bait? And then, like, what was the value in XP? Okay, there's a trophy common roach. I just got one more. So 51 and 42 XP. So pretty good, pretty good XP and pretty decent, decent money. Oh, and that was on dough balls, huh? Okay, cool. So maybe dough balls is the uh, common roach trophy order. Uh, answer to the question, huh? Kind of forgot we had a bite on this hook, but I guess we did. Oh, honey bread. Interesting. Okay. 
So Mars was on bread with honey. Yeah, I think we're getting just much better money and XP here, feeder fishing. Sounds good, Amar. Might be another roach. It's not a trophy though, is it? Oh, it is a trophy. Nice, even bigger trophy. Yeah, that was bred with honey as well. I am probably one fish away from being full for the day as well. I've always wished that RF4 would be able to figure out a way to do this. Even if it was, you know, you could only be in a group of however many people, two, three, five, whatever, but to actually be able to see people, some amount of people on the map with you. Like to be fishing with Amar and just to be able to look down and see kind of where he's fishing or if he's got a fish on. It really adds a lot to the experience. Is that a silver? Oh, it's a Prussian. All right, let's see if uh, there's a fish on here. So we're just getting this fish for XP. Unless it's a money fish, then we might have to delete something else to make room. I wonder if Amar has a bigger net than us now. He's higher level, so he might have gotten a better net. All right, that's a trophy Prussian. So if we hit Y, we can show our keep net. We're 0.3 kilos over. I know we want to get rid of something. I'm just not sure what. I wonder if we want to get rid of the common roaches. Those are only worth... Yeah. I think that was the way to go. All right. So we have a total of $816. We did get one of the trophy Prussians off red worms and a trophy common off of dough balls. But bread with honey, again, got both types of trophies. So we made 816, 435x XP. Let's see what this day looks like. Yeah, we're good. I was thinking about traveling home real quick and seeing about a little stronger line and, um, and a bigger keep net, but I think we're fine.
it would be nice to be able to pull some of these fish in a little faster and yet still get full experience for them so I don't know if there's if we have much room to be able to do that or not hard to move spots when you like when you know you're catching trophies and stuff in a spot I mean we haven't even tried other spots yet Is that a silver? Yes. Something smaller. Silvers are out on both types of bait. I don't know what we want this to be. It's so small. Fish, fish hut. Okay. All right. If we not tried anything we want to try, uh, let's try cheese. I don't know if anything here will take cheese, but let's try it. So we've kind of seen everything that is going to be caught on a bottom feeder except for tench. Possible for red worms, I guess. Might have to do it at night. 
Oh, that's cool, Amar. Can we get crawfish cut yet? I don't think so. So, ooh, level nine is pinkies. Something here likes pinkies. Might have been the common, common roaches. Yeah. I'm starting to think nothing likes cheese here. You, you did have three mirror carps in a row. Oh, I hit that one too quick. Do you see how like that second pull's got to really complete before you, when you're holding it like that. I'm starting to wonder if we should just start over on this one. That might be a trophy Prussian. That's what we want. It's a big roach. Heck yeah.
Roach. Very nice. Unless we can get this in pretty quick, we might have to trade them out if we want to get both fish. Young Mirror. All right, we got it. silver no nope, little common roach I think once I fill the net up or get close to it, I'm going to skip to nighttime, just see if I can find a tench. Might even be in the same spot, just at night. I could be totally wrong on that, but... Whoa! I think, unfortunately, the big... The biggest fish in the water are those young, young common and young mirrors, which aren't really the best money, pound for pound. Yeah, all those young commons, they will weigh you down. All right, let's switch this out real quick, because I'm pretty sure that's going to be a um, that's going to be a young common or a young leather or young mirror. So let's just get this in and then we'll finish that one. It's just a little roach. Trophy roach, nice. See, those trophy roaches are nice. They're easy to get in. And they don't take up that much room and they're still worth like 50 bucks. But nothing here is as nice as the trophy Prussians, although maybe the tench are, I don't know. Yeah, so Amar, one thing you can do is just keep fishing. And if you catch a trophy Prussian or something that's worth more than what you have, you can hit Y to open up your keep net and then get rid of a fish and then keep the one you're wanting to keep. Wow, so you filled up your net in less time than your cooldown to skip forward. Or if you don't want to do that, the other option is just to leave and then pay to travel back which is just 150, so either way. That, that might be one thing that's kind of nice about the red worms is they might be dodging. That might be a trophy Prussian. I can't tell. The red worms might be dodging the um, 
common carp and mirror carp. What is this? This is on red worms. Whew. Is that a tench? Holy cow, we found a tench. $73, 37 XP. So that was on red worm again. Well, I don't know. I hate to say two red worms over the bread with honey because a lot of our Prussian trophies have been on bread with honey. And this might be another one actually. But some of the Prussian trophies have also been on red worm. So it's just, I'm not sure which would work out to be the best. I see that little common roach sliding across the top of the water. So we can get rid of something small to make room for this. If it's a Prussian, is that a common? Okay, it's worth 73, so let's see. If we get rid of something that's, yeah, like a regular common roach, that's fine. All right, so that's a nice full net again. Let's see. Um, wow, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to leave. I can't, I can't wait that long, Amar, that's over an hour. All right, so we got that tench. Let me let me look at this. Yeah, all of the common carp are on bread with honey. And same with the mirror carp. So I guess the question is how many trophy Prussians can you catch on red worms? But you know, if I had a little stronger line, it would be no big deal. And a little bit bigger fishnet, there'd be more room to play with. Uh, but a little stronger line and even the common carp and young mirror carp would come in a little easier. Um, does it say anything about being nocturnal or anything for the tench? Yeah, nocturnal predators. So it could be worth, I mean, how much was the, they don't have trophy tench here. So like this one was worth 73 bucks, but it's only a half a kilo. So it's pretty good. It's a little better money, but a little worse XP than a trophy common. Actually, trophy Prussian carp aren't worth that much XP. They're just worth a lot of money. I guess it depends on the size of it. This one's a good bit bigger and it's worth a lot more. Okay. All right, let's see how we did. Another almost $800, 425 XP. Let's see about setting up our line here. So what are we up back up to money wise? Back up to 5,400. So we're building back up a little bit. Uh, 
okay this one technically could go up to 2.3 and this one can go up to 2. Point, so basically 2.3 on both of them and we have 1.8 2.8 2.3 so we really can't do better than 1.8 is that what we have 1.8 1.8 but then our leader is 1.2 so really the problem is our leader yeah that's what we want one point eight five liter do we want the little bit longer liter I guess so all right so now we can put the bigger liter on both and then what about heat net so we could go from 7 to 12 but it costs 2,000 and it also can only hold a 2.5 kilo fish but it's an increase of 5 kilos and we can now afford the chum chest mini because I don't have one of those yet right yeah let's get a chum chest mini because I think we'll probably be we'll probably be doing like ground bait and stuff before you know it what is the next stop in terms of European lakes it's level 12 the Netherlands what do we have here Trophy and unique bream. That's what I'm talking about. Unique roach. Unique eel. Unique flounder. Unique eyed. Unique mullet. And unique xander. See, that's cool. That'll be fun at 12 or thereabouts. All right, cool. There's episode two. We did some good work. Now we're into feeder fishing. This is getting fun. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.